Robert, five minutes. Five minutes, then we go. Pan seed calves liver, pancetta crisp, parmesan polenta, balsamic onions. That's liver, bacon and onions. That's my sort of food. Do you know how you want it to look? I do. Whether we get there is a different matter. It's a classic, isn't it? Um, make sure that the liver isn't overcooked. I don't want dry liver. So guys, for mains we have uh, pancid calf's liver. That's on cheesy polenta with balsamic onions and pancetta crisp. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Well Thank you very much. No problem. If it tastes half as good as it smells, then we're on to an absolute winner. The liver's cooked really, really well. I love the touches of the fried sage. I think that really just lifts the dish. Normally I'd have a gravy with this, um, but because the polenta's so soft, it doesn't really need it. The cheesy flavour comes through. Um, I think the crisp on the top, the pancetta, gives it enough seasoning. Um, and it's perfectly cooked. I'm really, really impressed. I could have eaten all of that twice over. It's delicious. Liver's cooked nicely. Bacon's crispy. Polenta's got a decent texture. A little bit of vinegar and a little bit of wine with those onions, and it would have been enough to get rid of the greasiness and make the dish lovely and rich. 15 minutes now, Robert, and desserts go, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Cranachan panna cotta. Personally, it's something that's really good, like a cranachan, classic dessert, don't mess with it. We've got Scottish-Italian fusion. I don't like the sound of it. I would never order this. Can I ask where you learnt about doing a panna cotta in a bowl like that? Uh, I believe I once saw it on MasterChef. Was it a girl I... called Ping by any chance? It might well have been. Yes. It might well have been. Nice, mate. Very, very nice. You've got about three minutes left, right? Thank you. Is that panna cotta perfectly set under there? That is what we're about to find out. Take that in and be proud. That looks great. Thank you very that much. That looks brilliant. Great. So for dessert, we've got a Cranachan panna cotta. It's a whiskey and vanilla panna cotta with raspberry coulis, toasted oats, and basil leaves. Hope you enjoy. Thank, well, you. thank you, fellas. This looks beautiful. Look at the colours. It just looks stunning. It's one of the prettiest plates of food I've seen in ages. That's really delicious, and I'm talking with my mouth full. I don't really care. <laughs> It's good. You get the vanilla coming through in that panna cotta. The whiskey's there on the back. It's just a little bit of warmth on the back of the flavouring. That's superb cooking. The only negative is that I would have never thought of serving a panna cotta like this in a million years, and I wish I could have done. Beautiful. Beautiful dish. I absolutely love it. The cream the vanilla is great in that panna cotta. The oats on top, I like the texture. I think it's a lovely, lovely dessert. The basil, I think, is a stroke of genius because it, it gives it a whole new dimension, a whole new fresh flavour. 